He was the first to propose that the world is composed of uncuttables. He was the first to posit that there might be a multiverse. He believed that everything happens according to necessity. His teachings have become the foundation for modern science, granting him the title Father of Modern Science, the well-known Democritus. Democritus was an ancient Greek philosopher and younger contemporary of Socrates, who was born in Abdera, a town of Thrace in northeast Greece. His father was very rich, and when he died, Democritus traveled to Egypt, Asia, and even said to have reached India and Ethiopia. With his teacher Lefkipis, he was the first to propose an atomic universe. Very little is known of Lefkipis and none of his work has survived, but he is known by ancient writers as Democritus' teacher, and apparently wrote on many subjects besides atomism. Known as the laughing philosopher because of the importance he placed on cheerfulness, Democritus was the first philosopher to posit that what we refer to as the Milky Way was the light of stars reaching our perception and that the universe may in fact be a multiverse with other planets sustaining life. In response to Parmenides' claim that change is impossible and all is one, Democritus, among others, tried to find a way to show how change and motion can be while still maintaining the unity of the physical world. With Lefkipis, Democritus argued that the world, including human beings, is composed of very small particles which he called atomon, uncuttables in Greek, and that these atoms make up everything we see and are. The atomists also agreed that motion required a void. When we are born, our atoms are held together by a body shape with a soul inside, also composed of atoms. While we live, we perceived all that we do by an apprehension of atoms outside of the body, which are being received and interpreted by the soul inside of the body. So, when atoms have been combined into one certain form, we look at the form and say, that is a book, and when they have been combined in another way, we say, that is a tree. But however these atoms are combined, they are all one, uncuttable and indestructible. When we die, our body shape loses energy and our atoms disperse as there is no longer a soul inside the corpse to generate the heat which holds the body shape atoms together. Though there have been some claims made by materialists that Democritus' atomic view of human life denied the possibility of an afterlife, this is not necessarily true, as Democritus seems to have viewed the soul as the causing motion and the thought was the physical movement of uncuttable atoms, it is possible such a soul would survive bodily death. Democritus believes that everything happens according to necessity. While this claim would seem to deny the possibility of human free will, Democritus wrote on ethics that one could make free will choices within the parameters of atomic determinism. Many consider Democritus to be the father of modern science. None of his writings have survived. Only fragments are known from his vast body of work. He was a philosopher who wrote about almost everything – philosophy and science, ethics and politics, mathematics, anthropology, biology and cosmology. He used to say that he prefers to discover a causality than become a king of Persia.